Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Power Is Now. My name is Eric Frazier. Thank you for taking time to join us today for our market session. We are live on Block Talk Radio, also on Facebook, and I really appreciate those of you who are tuning in on Facebook. Uh, please share the show, like on us. You can also subscribe to us on YouTube, and uh, just learn more about The Powers Now as a media company on thepowersnow.com. For those of you who are on Block Talk Radio, thank you for joining us today. If you have a question about any property we're gonna be talking about, please call in at two, uh, area code 323-843-6082. That is 323-843-6082. Today's marketing session is gonna focus on four unit properties. And I'm excited about it, folks. I've got some great uh, interviews, uh, great people on the show today. Uh, Shalanda out of uh, Miralona, and she is going to be talking about four units. And of course, we have Dana Burnside. He's going to be talking about four unit properties. These are two outstanding real estate professionals, so the power is now. And I want to invite other agents. So if you're not working with the power is now, you're working with C21, Remax, Keller Williams, it doesn't matter who you're working for. This show, our weekly marketing session, every Thursday from 12.30 to about 1.30, is open for all real estate professionals. Everyone is welcome to join us and to talk about real estate for sale. Now, today's theme is going to be about four-unit properties. But if you happen to have something for sale that doesn't fall into the four-unit category, no problem. Just uh, join us anyway and tell us all about it. We all have buyers who are looking for that right property. They're looking for their first home. And as we all know, that there is a shortage of inventory in the market today. And so we want to leverage the wonderful platform of Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube, uh, our websites to get the word out to everyone about the uh, uh, great deals that are on the market today. So today we're gonna to be talking about four unit properties. And before we get started, uh, for those of you who are new to the powers now, uh, the Powers Now is a media company. It began in 2009, but we're also a real estate company and a mortgage company and an escrow company, folks. We are a one-stop shop for just about everything you need when it comes to real estate and real estate finance. So I am the president and CEO of The Powers Now, and uh, I'm happy to host all of our online platforms, especially this marketing session, because I love learning about new properties that are for sale. Now, the license number for the power is now as a real estate company is 1980407. 1980407. We're licensed in the state of California only. But that doesn't mean you can't come on if you're in Texas or New York or wherever you might be. We have people who want to buy investment properties all over the United States. And so this show is for you, no matter where you are. But if we're going to represent you, or if you're looking for the powers now to engage you, we're licensed only in the state of California. Now, we're also licensed as a mortgage company. And our license number with the NMLS is 1435243. 1435243. And I am the mortgage broker for the powers now mortgage services, and I am the real estate broker for the Powers Now Real Estate Services. And my individual license for the Powers Now Real Estate Services with the state of California is 0114348484. And my individual license with the National Mortgage License Systems Registry is 461807. Okay, enough with the preliminaries. And again, those of you who are joining us by Facebook Live, thank you for joining us. And please share the link, share the link. Please share the link with others. Share it in all your groups that you're a part of. Share it with your friends. Today, they might hear about something that they might be interested in buying, especially if you're a real estate professional. And, but if you're a consumer and you're here in California, reach out to us. If we don't have something that you're interested in today, maybe we can find something that you are interested in tomorrow. So live right here on Facebook and on Blog Talk Radio. So let's begin. We're going to start with Shalanda, Shalanda Pilgrim. She's an outstanding agent out there in Mira Loma, California with the powers now. Welcome, Shalanda, to the marketing session. 
All right, thank you. So Shalanda, uh, first let's start off with giving everyone your contact information and your license number, and then let's hop right into it and talk about these two great listings that you know about. Okay, uh, my name is Shalanda Chappelle Pilgrim and I'm in the Mira Loma Eastville area. Um, my telephone number is area code 951-704-2590 and my email address is shalanda.pilgrim at the powers now. Dot com and my license number is zero one nine nine four two three six. All right, so Shalanda, you've got two listings you're going to share with us today, and uh, go ahead and, and get your screen set up and share it with us while Shalanda is setting up, uh, folks. I, I want to talk about just a couple of the advantages of buying a four unit property. Uh, for me, the biggest advantage in buying a four unit property is that you're simply able to buy more real estate. You have more income to work with. I mean, you have the income from three other units. If you're going to occupy, and that's what we're talking about here today, is occupying one unit, primary residence, and then using the income from the other three units, that gives you more money. It's like having three co-signers bringing their income to the table to help you buy a much bigger house. And why do you want to buy a much bigger house? Well, think about it based on the rate of return that you're getting, the appreciation rate. I mean, right now, homes are appreciating between seven to 10%. And if that's the case, uh, there's a rule called the rule of 72. And the rule of 72 determines how quickly your money will grow or double over a period of time based on an interest rate divided into 72. So for example, if you're getting 10% appreciation on your property, then that means every 7.2 years, your property is going to double in value. And so now, what do you want uh, to be growing? Do you want a $300,000 house to be growing at the rate of inflation or the market appreciation for the area? Or do you want an $800,000 house to be growing at the rate of inflation or the, or the market rates in the area? I don't know about you, but I want a, I want a $10 million house. <laughs> <laughs> growing at the rate of inflation or appreciation. Imagine, you know, a million dollar property will be worth two million dollars in 10 years if the appreciation is 7.2 percent. All right, so that's just one of the benefits and I'm going to share some other benefits as we go through it. Shalanda, go ahead and share your screen and let's see what we have for property number one. And you're on mute. So while we're waiting uh, for Shalanda to uh, get her screen together, I hate dead air on the radio, right? So uh, we're going to go to a quick commercial break. Oh, are you ready now? All right. Yeah. We're not going to go to a quick commercial break. Uh, so let's start with property number one. And looks like it's in Riverside, my hometown. Tell yeah. us all about it. This is a uh, three unit uh, property. Uh, the address is 1881 West Linden Street, Riverside. Uh, the listing price is 100,000, um, square foot uh, 2,237. We have uh, total operating expenses of 1,000, net operating income at 29,220. Um, it's a three unit income property in the heart of Riverside, great investment property for investors and first time homeowners. Have, um, we have the units, we have actually three, all of one bedroom, I'm sorry, two bedrooms is the first one and the other two units are one bedrooms, uh, two bath for the first unit, one's for the second unit, then the first unit has two car garage. And these are the pictures here. side of the house, carport area, backyard. Inside, needs a little work. Now, Shalanda, you're going pretty quickly with those pictures here. And for those who might be listening on Blog Talk Radio, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're seeing so they can hear as well. Yes. 
The home has hardwood floors. Uh, uh, vaulted ceilings, it looks mm -hmm. as if we have. Uh, we have tile. Uh, painting. It's a lot of work. Um, we have yellow paint throughout the house on one side of the first unit. The cabinets, ceiling fan. There's the other unit. We have old cabinet work. And it's, looks like it's actually across the street from my park. Good. And that's it for our pictures on that one. Now, for those of you who are listening on Blog Talk Radio, and for if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call in. Uh, the telephone number is 323-843-6082. That's 323-843-6082. Um, what's uh, uh, interesting about this property is its location. I like four unit properties that are across the street from the parks, and it may also be near the schools. Shalana, if you could, for the sake of our audience who are listening, read the remarks uh, that the uh, agent has provided on this uh, property. Uh, the general description is further up in the, uh, on the MLS, right there. Okay, excellent three unit uh, income property in the heart of Riverside, great investment property for investors and first time home buyers. I didn't rent the others to pay the mortgage. This triplex is well maintained. Two units have one bedrooms, one bath, and each have their own laundry room and backyard. And the third unit has two bedrooms and two baths and a laundry room. Park garage and a big backyard. All units have individual electric and gas meters. It's low maintenance and it's all fenced in. Uh, this is not all units are close to actually UCR, which is University of California Riverside. And the high school is uh, John North High School. Longfellow Elementary and Emerson Elementary School. The property is located in front of the Patterson Park with plenty of parking. It has a huge uh, lot for parking. So we're talking about a property here with uh, just in a kind of a great location close to uh, the high school, close to UCR, across from a park, uh, and the price of $600,000. So let's, let's take a look at that, uh, $600,000. Uh, the payment on that would be $4,280, $4,280, folks, and that's based on a note rate of 4.75% and an APR of 6.25%. So a note rate of 4.75%, an APR of 6.25%, and you would need a FICO score between a 640 to 680 range um, for that interest rate. Um, there also could be some lender credit involved. Of course, interest rates are uh, depending on your FICO score, debt ratio, so you have to qualify. But in addition to you having to qualify, the property has to qualify. And so let's take a look at the total rents on this property. Right now, it looks like it's about $3,100 in total rents on the property. And so that's, a, that's going to be a challenge because in order to buy this property FHA, the rents have to uh, exceed uh, the, um, uh, the, 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 basically the rents have to exceed the payment. And so of this $3,100, uh, we have to take 75% of that. 75% of $3,100 is, let's see, 3,100 times 0.75, that's $2,325. So that's the total amount of rents that we can use. Well, if the payment is $4,280, then the property is not going to debt service. Um, now, of course, to qualify, we can only count the rents on the two units uh, that the person is going to rent out. They're going to occupy one in order to be able to purchase this property with 3.5% uh, down FHA. So this property would have to go conventional. The person would have to pay enough, put enough money down to have a debt service coverage ratio of at least one and a quarter percent, at least one and a quarter percent. And uh, that means they would have to put a substantial amount of money down. But in terms of its uh, investment capability, um, 
you're looking at annual rents. In fact, let's go back to that uh, screen again. Um, what were the total annual rents on this property? Uh, let's see here. Actually, 3,100. So 3,100, 3,100 times uh, 12. And um, that's 43,200. And typically, you're going to use about a 30% uh, expense factor. So you're looking at $30,000, $30,240. And if you divide that into $600,000, you're looking at a cap rate of about 5%. So for this area, a cap rate of 5% is pretty low. You can get a cap rate of 5% in some of the more dense areas like Los Angeles, downtown, Oakland, what have you. So it appears that the price is a little high on this property just based on the cap rate. But in terms of its location, it's a great deal. In terms of the market rents, uh, it's about on track. If you notice there too, Amanda, that um, uh, the market rents are, it's actually being rented out at below market rents. Let's share the screen one more time on this property and look at the uh, market rents uh, again for our listeners and for those who are watching on Facebook. For those of you who are on Facebook, if you have any questions about what we're talking about of this particular property, please ask your questions in the chat room and uh, I'll be happy to uh, answer your question during the share it with Shalanda. So look at this. So the actual rents on two of the units, uh, two units are 800 and 800, and they should be rented at 1200. So of course that has to be verified. So there's about $800 on the table on right. rents right there alone. And then the, th the two bedroom is renting for 1500 and they're saying the market rents are 1700. That's another $200. So we're looking at an additional $1,000 or $12,000 a year and rents on that property. So if we were actually getting that, um, then we're looking at, let's see here, 2,400. So 2,400 plus 1,700 is 4,100 times 12. That's 49,200. We're gonna use a, an expense factor of 30%. So we're looking at $34,400, $440. Divide that into 600,000. Now we're looking at a cap rate of almost 6%, 5.75%. And we're looking at more cash flow. One thing for sure, Shalanda, buying this property FHA 3.5% down is not gonna work. Our clients right. are gonna have to come in with a significant down payment in order for the property to meet the debt service coverage ratio for conventional loan. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to move to property number two. Is there anything more you want to add, uh, Shalana, about this property? Uh, to this property, no. Okay. Which All right. So uh, I'm going to uh, share my screen, folks. And uh, you're uh, listening to The Power Is Now, for those of you who are on Blog Talk Radio. And for those of you who are watching on Facebook, you're listening to The Power Is Now. You're watching The Power Is Now weekly marketing session. I want to encourage you to... Uh, tune in with us every Thursday from 12.30 to 1.30 as we talk about real estate for sale. And today's theme is four unit properties. So we're going to take a brief break here. And if you will hang in there with us, we'll be right back. Right after this commercial break, power is now. Looking back, I certainly recall one of the greatest moments in my life. The day I set foot in a house that I purchased on my own. Man, what a morning I'll never forget. The American Dream lives on. The Power Is Now Buyers Club is here to help you achieve it right now. We have access to lenders and nonprofits who are willing to give you the down payment for a home when others are not. That's right. The down payment assistance is not a loan. It's a gift. Find us at thepowerisnow.com and let's talk. Own your home today. Live the American dream. The power is now. The future is here. The future is here, folks. And uh, I tell you, if you're not trying to get in right now, uh, then uh, you're going to be regretting it soon. Interest rates are rising. We just heard from the Federal Reserve that they have raised the rates, and they're uh, and they're indicating that they're going to raise it again probably next month or, or in, in the very near future. So with interest rates rising and property values continuing to rise, uh, if you're getting priced out, 
then your only option may be to buy a four unit building so you can use the income from the other three units to help you buy your next property. So that's what we're talking about today, the four unit uh, acquisition, the four unit purchase. And Shalanda just showed us a great deal in Riverside, uh, but unfortunately it can't go with 3% down, 3.5% down. Uh, you're gonna have to put at least 25% down or more in order to achieve the debt service coverage ratio based on the actual rents on that property. So Shalanda, let's move on to property number two. Okay. Property number two is located in Lake Elsinore. And the address is 30, 32979 Garner Road, units A, B, and C. Uh, there was actually a recent uh, reduction in the price. It went down 10,000. Uh, the listing price now is at 450,000. Property is actually right off the lake. Uh, it's a three unit um, have a standard sale net Operating income, $24,540. The lakefront, three bedroom, two bath. Lex, you have your own private beach. Home has nicely remodeled kitchen, new roof, new bathroom, new flooring. Low as 2045. You have one at 895, one at 550, and one at 550. Home and then rent the duplexes for as much as you want in mortgage payment. Okay. Uh, this is a triplex. We'll go to the pictures here. This first one, I don't know why it's shaded like that. Private beach. You have your own private section beach of Lake Elsinore. <laughs> this is the kitchen. We have white, um, white cupboards throughout and we have hardwood floors in the front area. Looks like a new door there. And this is one of the bathrooms here. The bathroom's in good condition. Very good condition. We have white cabinets. Looks like a new bath. Another, that's a, actually a nice picture of your private beach there. Very nice. That's another one. And then the zoning, um, this property is actually zoned for commercial and residential parts of the, um, of the lot. And we have here the three units, hardwood floors in one, track lighting. And the ceiling in this unit's rather low. Kitchen area, small area. Kitchen's in good shape, sliding doors, leading to the backyard, to your private. Okay, this is the next unit. Nice, these units are, uh, I click on that picture by the way. I think you just may need to click on the picture itself and give her that blue screen. No. Hmm, I wonder why it's doing that. Interesting. There we are. Okay, there we go. So, wow, that must be a, a living space right there, but they have a view of the lake. Yes. You know, for those of you who are listening on Blog Talk Radio, tune in to facebook.com forward slash the powers now, and um, you can see what we're seeing. So continue. Okay. So let's look at the rents on this. Okay, so the rents here, we have the actual rents uh, for the three bedroom, two bath, which is the actual house, is $995. And for the two one bedroom, one bath duplexes, you have 500 for one and 550 for the other. We have appliances, gas ranges, and microwaves. Uh, the flooring is laminate. Floor flat none, 
bungalow style, colonial style. Okay, uh, we have notes here. Property may be legally non-conforming. Lot has commercial, residential, and recreational zoning on different parts of the lot. The lot may extend into the lake. lake. The property is currently on septic, but hooked up to a sewer may be available. So it's on a septic tank. And the foundation may be wood or wood to earth contact. Okay. And we did mention the net operating expenses, 24,540. And it's a nice, it's a real nice lakefront property. And I like the idea that it's actually zoned for recreational, commercial, commercial and residential. You imagine waterfront property, having beach access, fishing, community, lakefront. This is really nice. Hey, Shalon, it looks like Eric got cut off a little bit, so keep going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so those were actually my two properties. Would you like to start with yours? Um, sure, I can jump on. Okay. Or well, I can show another one if you'd like. If you have one. Okay. This is another one in the Lake El Elsinore area. Uh, the listing price is uh, $590,000. We don't have too many pictures of it here. Uh, here. So that's a back area. And this is a, a triplex that was actually built in the 1900s. It's located in a historical district of Lake Elsinore. Upstairs owner's unit recently upgraded bath, a beautiful redwood post staircase, crown molding. The beauty of the 1900s is still present in the, in the home. It has all of its existing um, features that it had back then. Um, we have three units. We have the first one's a one bedroom, one bath. And the actual rent of that one is $890. Have the second unit's a two bedroom, one bath. And the actual rent is $1,290. The third one is a two bedroom, one bath, and that one's renting actual rents of $1,440. Wow, it's a pretty nice property. Yes. Where's this one located at again? This one's in Lake Elsinore. Oh, okay. And what is it going for? And it's going for $590,000. It actually just went down. Um, wow. Original price was $110,000. Still on the market, 197 days. Wow. Yes. I think somebody would have bought that right away. Yeah. Especially being in that area. Yeah. Okay, would you like to start yours? Okay, let me go ahead and share my screen and I'll bring up some of my properties. Hi everyone, my name is Dana Burnside, uh, real estate agent with the powers now. Real estate license 018358538. If you have any questions uh, or need to contact me, my phone number is 951. 205-5796. And my email address is danon.burnside at thepowersnow.com. All right, so let's see here. Let's see what I've got. Share my screen here. Oops. All right, here we go. 
So uh, the first property that I want to share is located in San Bernardino. Uh, address is uh, 2701 North E Street, it's in San Bernardino, which is just below the, uh, the two, 210 freeway, south of the 210 freeway. Uh, asking price on this one is $595,000. It's been on the market for 11 days. Standard sale. Um, this one offers a total operating expense of $9,143. Net operating income is $42,457,000. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the pictures. All right, uh, agent didn't take many pictures. We have three, here's the outside. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, side view, looks like some carports there. Or, or can be used for like maybe a patio area. It looks like covered patio maybe. <laughs> um, and then let's see what else we got here. And then some uh, more carports. You got uh, three carports there. All right. So let's see what the uh, agent has to say about this particular property here in the description on that. A little bit on that. So this one here says it's a great investment for unit income property for investors uh, or first time home uh, owners live in one and rent out the others to pay the mortgage, has a coin laundry for extra income and storage space. Uh, there are six carports uh, in the side of the property, close to freeways, it's schools, banks, park, restaurants, monthly rent payment. Uh, here's a breakdown. So we have unit number one through three. So these are two bedroom, one bath units. They're rented at uh, $1,000 each. You have unit number four, Looks like it would be the master uh, unit because it's a three bedroom, two bath, and which is an upper unit with the balcony, walk-in closet set. It's rented out at $1,300 a month. Uh, landlord pays the trash, water, gas for hot water, heater, and common washer dryer, and electricity for common area, lighting, and washer dryer. So the property is 100% occupied. So someone coming in to buy it as an investor, to be a good deal everything's already occupied and you don't have to uh, worry about uh, finding renters for this particular unit right here so let's see what the breakdown on this one here is uh, so, uh, so you have a total of four units so three units there are two bedrooms and one bath no garage space uh, unfurnished one thousand dollars each so you're getting a total of uh, three thousand in rent there per month uh, you have a one unit that's a three bedroom, two bath, unfurnished at $1,400 per month, which is actually really at $1,400 a month. So right now, you're bringing in about $4,400 per month uh, on those four units. And it's already occupied, ready to go for you. So pretty good unit. I would say a good investment for the area. Let's go ahead and take a look at those pictures again. Uh, in, there we go. So the uh, front view there. Side view, this probably would be the uh, master suite right there. You can see the balcony right there for that unit. And then we have the carports. So that's, that's pretty much it for unit number one. I don't know if you wanna jump in there, Eric, and go over some numbers, or should I jump over to the, uh, the next uh, unit? Can you hear me there, Eric? Uh, Everything's frozen. Oh, it's frozen, okay. Well, until he comes back in, I'm going to jump over to the, uh, the next property here. So this one right here, the first one was located in San Bernardino. And the next one I have here is located in Fontana. So this one here wow. is located at uh, 16740 Valley Boulevard. Offered at 599000 Looks like the price was uh, reduced. It's been on the market for 147 days. Total operating expense on this particular unit is... $10,185. Uh, net operating income on this one is $41,715. And let's see what the uh, agent has to say about this particular uh, property. Let's zoom in a little bit so everyone can see that. Uh, so fantastic opportunity to own this fourplex, which features three of, three of the units are two bedroom, one bath each. And you have a one unit is a one bedroom, one bath. Uh, has a uh, its own one-car garage, 
Mm -hmm. room for additional parking. It is a large lot behind another commercial lot. Uh, see near shopping centers and restaurants. Great uh, opportunity. Don't uh, miss this one, or don't miss the four unit uh, units to be sold with the commercial vacant lot in the front. So, in addition to this one, they have another lot that they want to sell together for a total price of nine hundred and ninety-eight thousand nine hundred dollars. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the pictures that was posted. There we go. So looks like they're uh, detached units. So each unit is detached from each other. Mm -hmm. There we go. A unit, a little backyard and stuff like that and driveway area. Another unit. So it looks like, like I said, each unit is separate from each other and you have your own yard to take care of uh, and maintain. Like. It's like a lot of ample parking. All right, that's pretty much it. Not too many pictures, but that, that's what you get right there. And let's see what the breakdown on the rents are. Okay, so um, it's four units. You have one unit that is a uh, one bedroom, one bath. Actual rents on that one is 975. So it's already rent at 975. You have uh, two units that are two bedroom, one bath. However, you have one that's rented out at 1075, and then you have another one that's rented out at 1125. Uh, actually, it's three uh, two bedroom baths, and the third one is rented out at 1150. So there you go. It's very nice units there. I'd say um, great investments on either one. This one here is located uh, near Kaiser Permanente in Fontana, so not too far from the hospital. Uh, great growing area, a lot of shopping, restaurants in the area close to the freeway. So that's right above the 210 freeway? Uh, this one will be above the 10 freeway. 10 freeway, okay. Yeah, just north of the 10 freeway. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up the map on that and kind of see a little bit of the area. So yeah, just above the two, the 10 freeway, yeah, Valley Boulevard. So right on the corner of Valley and it uh, looks like Juniper, right in that little area right there. And then you have the hospital right here, back of the hospital, right there off of Magnolia. That's the hospital. So great, I mean, some pretty good investments. Um, it looks like our uh, broker, Eric, somehow got kicked out of the meeting. They won't be able to go over the numbers and give you the breakdown to see if it qualifies for FHA or any other programs. So um, hang on just a moment. I'm gonna see if he's gonna be able to jump on. If not, we will um, conclude the meeting in just a, a moment. One second. Okay. Well, it looks like we lost Eric. Um, so we'd like to thank you for joining us today um, and listening on Blog Talk Radio and on uh, the Powers Now on Facebook Live. Um, we appreciate it. Uh, we'd like for you to share our show with other people, um, family, friends, and business associates, anyone that's looking for a piece of property. Danny and I um, both are, uh, would be happy to help anyone you know, who's looking for a piece of property. Danny? Yes. Okay, yeah, so like, if you have any questions, need to reach out to us. Uh, once again, my number is 951-205-5796. And if you wanna reach out to Shalanda, your number is? 951-704-2590. All right, yes, we look forward to answering any questions about the properties that we talked about today or any other properties that you have uh, interest in. Uh, we look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you.